If I'm correct, I heard you say a few months back that you likened the entrepreneurial opportunity uh, when early days of cable television to the yes. entrepreneurial yes. opportunity today in clean energy. Yes. So entrepreneurs out here, I mean, if, if you're looking for your next thing, you know, this is the man who's saying, you know, that, you know who built billions of dollars in wealth uh, through cable television and media, that if you were doing it today and you were this age, what would you be doing? I, I'd be in clean renewable energy. Absolutely. And there are all sorts of uh, entry points. But what, what I would do is go to work uh, for an energy company and learn as much as I possibly could and then decide where the entry point that uh, you want to be. Global warming is by far the most complex problem or issue that humanity's ever faced. And here it's dumped in your lap. You know, you, you've got to figure out what, it is so complicated between whether we do cap and trade, because there's so much complexity. Do we go for wind or for solar? I think we need to say good, phase out coal and oil as fast as we can and, and, and replace it. I'll ask you about something that I've heard you say several times and it really inspired me and it comes from the Rotary Club, which I Oh yeah, the profits most deserves the best. Yeah, say that again. He profits most who serves the best. And that's why I think your organization is so strong to have a strong philanthropic uh, component from the very start because I did the same thing and it sure worked for me. I want to help people. Yeah. I don't want to hurt anybody. Is there anybody? I bet there's not a person in this room that wants to bomb anybody. If, you, if you'd like to bomb somebody, would you raise your hand? <laughs> <laughs> How many of you want to help somebody? How many yeah. want to help people around the world? Uh, all right, so let's, let's do that. Let's try that for a while. We've got to uh, start planning for the future and doing intelligent things like you're doing in your businesses. If we, if we keep doing the dumb things uh, like we've been doing, uh, we're in real trouble. We're, we are in real we're trouble. We're already in real but, trouble. But, but I, like to, I like to liken it to a baseball game. People ask me, particularly young people, well, what, where, where do we stand? I said, look, it's the seventh inning, and we're down by two runs. The game's not over. The game's not over. We could still turn it around. We've got to hold them right where they are by putting our best relief pitcher in, and then we've got to put three runs on the board in the last two innings. And, and my first president of the Turner Foundation used to say it real cleverly. He would wink in his eye and say, the situation is hopeless, but I could be wrong. <laughs> you know, and I can tell you, if, if it's going to get turned around, you're going to be the one to do it, because my generation's worn out. We're still adding, what, 60 or 70 million people a year to the world's population. The rate of population growth has come down. I think it was close to 90,000 people a year a few years back. And in 1950, there wasn't a single country on Earth that had a stable population. Uh, and today, there are like 40 countries that have stable population, mostly European countries, uh, in Japan. But, uh, but, but, but we're still adding too many people to the, the world's population. When I was born uh, in 1938, there were just slightly over two, 2 billion people. And now, 70 years later, they're uh, 6.7 billion, three and a half times as many as we're here just, in, and that's in the lifetime of one person. Sure. And we're still, every 10 years, adding close to a billion people. Well, we can't do that. But already, out of the 6.7 billion, a billion people went to bed hungry last night in this world. And we try and add another two or three billion, they say it's gonna paper off at nine billion. Well, it, 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 it'll be, life will be miserable. It, that we're running out of water. We're, irrigation grows close to half our food in the world. And uh, those aquifers are being uh, depleted. And when those aquifers uh, run out of water, the food supply that for human beings and animals and everything is gonna be greatly reduced and we don't have any plan at all. We, we don't have a long-term plan for humanity. I think we ought to be thinking a thousand years out and planning for it.